Hi guys, it's Angela again with Prairie Dog Care, and I was going to go over my cage. Um, this is an update video for you guys who watched the first video. Um, a lot of these ideas I got from the Facebook group called Prairie Dog and Their Kin. It's a wonderful group. It's full of lovely ladies and great advice. So I recommend if you do have Prairie Dogs and you're looking for updated information, please go on Facebook and find a Prairie Dog group. The group that I am is always full of great information and files and things where you can look for potty training, bonding, um, sexing, uh, rut times and seasons and things like that. Uh, you can hear Ivy in the background. She's playing right now. But I have the All Living Things version of the Critter Nation cage, which has the proper spacing on the bars. As you see, I do not have the original trays. That came with the cage. I went to Bass Equipment and ordered the um, Critter Nation replacement pans. They are galvanized steel. They're beveled on the edge and they're great for cleaning up and also great for them to kind of keep all their bedding and things inside their enclosure instead of ending up on your floor. Um, I have some parrot toys. Make sure you take the wood off of those toys because they are not good for prairie dogs. Wood is not a good thing for them to chew on. So um, give them Timothy hay. Do not give them alfalfa hay. Um, but basically the kind of toys that I have are on carabiners and they're just rope toys. And as far as their bed goes, this is a dog bed, and so is this one. You can get them at Walgreens, Dollar Store. They're fine. Um, just stay away from terry cloth and things like that. Microfiber because of the, it can kind of ball up and knot up and get, you know, in your throat. Um, I use Tupperware bins for them to burrow in. It's full of uh, Timothy hay. I use Oxbow. Oxbow is a great brand. I highly recommend it. I use fleece blankets for them to burrow in and stay warm during the colder months. Um, and as far as their floor, their floor area goes, I'll show you guys that. Um, I use perforated drain tubes from Home Depot. They have holes in them so that you can see where they are. And also, if they want to stand there, they can breathe. It's well ventilated. And around the walls, I've used... Um, post office boxes or I use the for sale and garage signs and stuff like that to put up against the wall to kind of keep ivy from tearing up the walls and eating um, the baseboards and it also protects my furniture from getting chewed on because most people have wood furniture which they will tear it up so um, some of these tubes you can get at PetSmart that extend um, right now she is playing in a dick box which a dick box is very good for them um, to play in. I'll show you guys. Um, that's a dick box. It's full of hay as well. And there's some Tupperware bins and things like that. I have a um, drain pipe running in there with hay. She loves to burrow in it. And as you can see, those signs are what I was talking about. Um, it's blocking off my furniture so that she can't, you know, chew on it. And as you can see, she's playing right now, and she loves them. Um, the plastic ones found at Home Depot, you can cut them to size. You can also cut the perforated drain tubes to kind of fit your room and everything like that. Um, these expand so that you can make different shapes. They will chew these, so it's kind of better to get the PVC version as long as they're perforated. This is Ivy. She doesn't like Mama's smell right now because I took a shower and stuff. So she's kind of like, I know it's you, but you smell funny. But she's very lovable. I've had her about a month and a half. Um, she's absolutely beautiful. She's not quite a year old yet. She's very brave. She will jump. Um, and the previous video to this is bonding. It'll teach you, you know, kind of give you tips and tricks on how to get them to bond. 
A baby gate is a real good thing to use to block off rooms when you're going to have a playroom, but I do recommend cardboarding it because they can climb. They're great climbers because they are related to the squirrel family, so naturally they're going to be able to be climbing. Um, their nails can get really long. It's okay to trim those as long as you know what you're doing and you don't cut them too short. Um, make sure you have plenty of things for them to chew on around your room. Um, I use, this is cardboard. It goes around um, like when you ship things and it has an edge to it and you don't want it to bend or anything. And it's just hard cardboard and it's fine for them to chew on it. So, um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what her room looked like and, you know, things like that. Kind of give you some ideas on what you could do to help make your prairie dog happy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, and always look for the Facebook groups. They are really wonderful. And as I mentioned before, Prairie Dog in Their Kin is my personal favorite. Um, make sure you check that out if you want to get more tips and tricks. There's some wonderful ladies in there, and a lot of this information that I'm passing along, I got from them. So, hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time.